Okay, some crazy things have happened over the past couple of hours to crypto. If you've not done it yet, make sure you press that like button right now and let us dive right in. If you wanted to know, it has to do with the SEC. The SEC over the past couple of months has been filing many of what we call Wells notices to companies, which are basically warnings that they're looking into you and that they're gonna sue you basically. Officially, it states a Wells notice is a communication issued by the US SEC or FINRA to individuals or entities who are under investigation for potential violations of securities laws. This has happened to many companies we know and love, and yet another one was filed about an hour or three ago. And if that was the only thing that happened, I wouldn't be here talking about the event. Because as I've said, it happened to so many crypto companies and crypto exchanges that it's on its own is not that big a deal anymore. But, 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 but what happened afterwards is something quite unique. There is another company I know of that did kind of a similar thing, but this is really where the crypto fights get feisty, get interesting, get juicy. Let's take a look. So over the past few hours, what has happened is that the exchange crypto.com officially filed a lawsuit against the SEC quote to protect the future of crypto in the US. Now, it's kind of like Coinbase did, I guess, a while back where Coinbase really didn't want to get into trouble with the SEC, but they basically countersued or went against the SEC to state that the rules were not clear. It was not a proper level field or playing field. And that the SEC basically just was making rules up out of nothing or rather that they were trying to act on rules that were not there. So a few hours ago, you can see here that Chris said today, crypto.com filed a suit against the SEC to protect the future of crypto in the US. Apparently, Crypto.com Derivatives North America has also filed a petition with the CFTC and SEC to confirm crypto derivative product regulation. And again, it's kind of what Coinbase was trying to do. They were trying to get it cleared um, exactly what the rules with regards to these exchanges basically and, and, and crypto were uh, for the SEC to really put it down easily. And the SEC's backward, or I should call it defense, is always to say that the rules are just really simple. They've been around for as long as we can remember with Howie or with the brokerages slash clearinghouse rules that are just quote unquote already laid down. The SEC just seems to say it's not really different from the way that TreadFi would operate, but we can disagree on that. Today, Crypto.com has filed a suit against the US SEC. We are doing so to protect the future of the crypto industry in the US, joining a series of our peers, many, who are actively defending themselves and taking action against a misguided federal agency acting beyond its authorization under the law. Our decision to sue the SEC follows our receipt of a Wells notice from the commission staff, illustrating that the SEC's unauthorized and unjust regulation by enforcement campaign continues despite bipartisan indications that the next administration will take a more constructive and effective approach to advancing crypto in the U.S. For now, improper SEC business in the U.S., while this is an unprecedented move for our company to file suit against a federal agency, it's quite a big deal, actions by that agency towards our industry have left, uh, have left us no other choice. Specifically, our lawsuit contends that the SEC has unilaterally expanded its jurisdiction beyond statutory limits and separately that the SEC has established an unlawful rule that trades in nearly all crypto assets are security transactions, no matter how they are sold, whereas identical transactions in Bitcoin and ETH are somehow not. And again, that discrimination that we don't fully understand because they don't want to specify is really where the majority of the confusion lies. I mean, why is XRP, for example, fine? Why is Bitcoin fine? But is another asset not? What are the rules that make it up? And you might say, well, well there's almost nothing you can say because even the SEC themselves seem to not fully know. This unlawful rule never went through a notice and commit a uh, comment period required by the Administrative Procedure Act. And furthermore, the agency's application thereof is arbitrary, I agree, and cap uh, capricious, particularly when those crypto assets possess virtually indistinguishable characteristics from and are sold in an identical manner as Bitcoin and Ethereum are. We seek to stop the SEC's illegal actions in excess of the authority and a violation of federal law in their tracks. Now, there's slightly more to the story, but none of this is really that interesting. And for the most part, they basically just say that they've been following all the rules, getting themselves all the licenses, and have been doing this for the last eight years. 
and that they wouldn't have been able to get into this quote unquote top position if they weren't doing it the proper way. And so that it's kind of weird for them to come out this way, which I agree with. And again, a part is that they basically just want things to be cleared up. The joint rule allow, or the joint rules, sorry, allow any market participant to ask the CFTC and SEC whether a product is a swap, security-based swap, or mixed swap. And on these joint rules, the agencies have 120 days to either issue a jointly approved interpretation uh, or to deny an interpretation. However, if they deny, they must explain why they're doing so, et cetera, et cetera. What Crypto.com is just not trying to do is get themselves some sort of response, which I think is really, really smart, because these lawsuits take an extremely long amount of time. And perhaps through this petition, they could either get public input or just some sort of response again. And the more we have on paper, the more we have from their side saying this or that is something. The more they just put on paper, the further we can get when it comes to crypto regulation in the US. Anyway, that was by far the craziest thing that happened today. And I can't say it surprised me. It's one of the many crazy things the SEC has done. But let me rephrase that. Is it really the craziest thing they've done? No, not at all. So from that perspective, not that big a deal, right? But the fact that a company, in this case here, a crypto exchange, is actually willing to put resources in and bam, slap in the face, sue them back. I appreciate it. Maybe you don't, but I definitely do as a crypto enjoyer. Because theoretically speaking, they're fighting for your freedom to be able to transact crypto all over the world without all the scrutiny that they're trying to give you. Again, if you think about it, over in the US, so many things are not allowed that are allowed almost anywhere else in the world. I don't actually know why to keep people safe, they say, but there's a lot of freaking things you can't do. I mean, you are allowed to walk to a casino and put all your money on there. But then when it comes to crypto, oh no, that's all too dangerous. I sometimes think about it the same way when it comes to needing to be an accredited investor, right? You need to prove that you're able to handle money, but you don't need to do that when you're trying to go gambling or do some other stuff. I sometimes find that odd the way the, the country is built in that, in that way. And again, also when it comes to crypto, they really always say that it's to protect the people, right? The whole nature of the SEC is to protect the common U.S. investor, I guess, for the U.S. SEC. But then again, their actions definitely don't reflect that because if we're thinking about it, what are they really doing? They're taking away your options when it comes to these exchanges. They might be taking away your coins, which again, who is that really benefiting? Is it benefiting the people? Well, take a look at the XRP case. It didn't really do that much for Ripple in a negative sense, mostly just for the common XRP holder whom they hurt with their lawsuit. And it just makes me think of what exactly they're there for, what exactly they're trying to do, and how bad of a job they're doing at it. But hey, in the next few months, it'll be changed, right? As the elections roll on in, they're gonna come in hot. It's gonna change as well. And it's quite interesting to think about what we're gonna see at the SEC in, you know, if we're talking about a six month period here, just how different it's gonna look in six months from now. It's interesting to think about. But that's it for today's crypto update, you know? What a crazy time we're living, huh? Make sure you press the like button if you enjoyed it. See ya.